Tigers to an easy 30 to 13 win over the South Carolina Gamecocks. Davis virtuoso moves on this simple out pattern produced the game's first score and it made it seven to nothing Tigers. Then the highly touted Todd Ellis threw one of his four interceptions on the day. Greg Jackson would get two. This one he'll return to the South Carolina 13 yard line. That'll set up another Hodson and Davis score. Perhaps no one in the college game checks off as well as Hodson, and this call produced an easy one, 14 to nothing, LSU. In the second half, there would be more. Hodson hangs it up for Davis from 25 yards out. Those two shared the game's most valuable player award, and this score made it 27 to six. Harold Green scored in the fourth quarter to cut it to 27-13. The Gamecocks would get no closer. LSU added a field goal, went on to win it 30 to 13. They finished the season with a record of 10, 1, and 1. Joe Amato has been with the Tigers throughout Mike Archer's first year as head coach, and he's standing by live in Jacksonville. Nice ending to the season, wasn't it, Joe? It was a great game. It was a great looking game, Jim, today, and I'll admit it, I'll be the first to admit it, all year, the Tigers had problems rushing the opposing passer. Today, they came out fired up on defense. Perhaps it was a time off that uh, got them. They were pretty banged up during the season. And it was defensive tackle Tommy Clapp who got it all rolling. We talked all week that we didn't hear any about our defense. We all we heard about was South Carolina's black death. And our players, I think, have a great amount of pride in what they do, and, and they wanted to show people that they can play defense, too. Uh, their offense coordinator made the statement that you can't stop the run and shoot with a three-man line. We wound up with six or seven sacks, four or five interceptions. Uh, we had Ellis running all over the field tonight, scared for his life. So that's what, that's what it was all about. I Not think much. we're intimidated. I really do. You know, I think that, you know, the, the jam that we had on them, you know, helped us out a lot. And that was Greg Jackson talking about Sterling Sharp, who didn't have a great game. Wendell Davis had a spectacular game. He's the team's, uh, the game's MVP. Wendell, great effort today. Thank you. I'd just like to give credit to the Lord for giving me the opportunity to play tonight and uh, give credit to the whole offensive line. And your QB. Yeah, especially my QB. I'm going to miss that guy. Uh, you know, and that's I just thank the Lord for giving me the opportunity. Well, how was it? They didn't double cover you. That was the, I couldn't believe it. Well, I thought they would after the first two touchdowns. I thought they would come out in more zone type defense, but they didn't. They kept uh, with the one on one, so we capitalized on it. Your dad is here, William. And uh, what do you think? Come in here, Bill. <laughs> we got the trophy right here. The South Carolina fans really outnumbered the Tiger fans today, but South Carolina got quiet quick, didn't they? They sure did. I think uh, LSU was, uh, I never thought that it was get here in the, in the first place. I, I didn't think I would ever be here on this field right here, right, right now. And you got the trophy right sure. there. Tom, uh, Wendell, congratulations, and uh, what's ahead for you? Well, I have to go to these bowl games. I'm going to the Japan Bowl and the Hawaii Hula Bowl, excuse me, the Hula Bowl, and I'm looking forward to those, those bowl games. Got an agent yet? No, I'm not. Well, let, let's right talk now. about this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, both All of right, you. Thank you. Okay, Jim, that's it from the Gator Bowl. <laughs> All right, Joe, thanks very much. The